Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how you can upload multiple images for a product and I will show you how you can display them here. In the previous video, we learned how we can upload one image. So in this video, I will show you how you can display it here and save it into database. You know, every product might have different images. That's why you can uh, upload multiple images for the product. Also, we will show you how you can display tags accordingly here. So let's work on this one. Currently, if you select an image, it is going to store that in our image field here. Here is our image, which is equal to null and it will store it here. We are going to store an array of images. So the type of this property, sh the type of this one should be an array. So you know, the sign for array is going to be the bracket. You will save it for now. Now what you can do is, you can come down here. This is where we store the image. If you want to store something in array, you will not assign it like that. You will just say push and using the push function, you can write download URL. And now it is going to store those, info, those images one by one in your image array here. So if I save it for now, it will store it here. So we should display it somewhere before we do any further development. So let's see we how, where we can display it. If I scroll up a little bit, this is where we upload the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to display this under that one. So I will create the form group class here. And inside this one, we will have a div. And this div is going to have a width. So the width should be, I don't know how much I should give it. So it should display it like properly. For now, I will give it 80 pixel. So this is going to be the width of the images you can display it here and you can just loop through everyone. So you can say we for and now we for what you are going to refer here. We for product dot image. Uh, let's make it plural because we are going to store multiple images. So we say images and also when you are storing you can say images dot push. So if I scroll up for the loop here, you can say product dot images in the loop and you can store that in the image. You can say like this image in product dot image. Now you can di display that image somewhere here. So how you can display that? You can use the image tag here and imagine you display it like this, but I will show you the error you are getting if you are going to use this method. So I will write it down here. You will save it for now. Let's see the console. This is going to be the error. They, they have like a very nice error handling. They are going to say instead of image, use uh, just the, what we can say, we binding. It is going to bind the value. Now instead of saying image, the, uh, the proper option is going to be colon then id or value something like that so now you you will write instead of src you will say colon src and you do not write the bracket just the image this is how it works if you save it for now and you come here it should compile successfully yes it did and you will come here and refresh our product page and see if it is going to do the trick for us I will open the product model, let's select an image and see if it display here. So I have four images which are very like a little low quality, easy to upload. I will pick the first one and we should wait for it to upload it. Yes, here is the download URL and here is the image. Hmm, so big, right? So if I come all the way down here, this is what we should do for the image, not cut it here and we will put it down there. So it should do the trick for now. Width of 80%, yeah, it is how it is displaying. If I select another one, let's say we pick the second one and we wait for this one to upload because the upload will take a little while and it should display, yes, displaying here. And let's select the last one and it will display it here. You know, it will display like this. So if you want to display it like uh, Horizontally, all you have to do is come here and say deflex or display flex. It should display them in a flex position. And now you can give them a little bit of padding also. So 
you can give this class of p hyphen one if you know bootstrap this is going to give it a little bit padding of one pixel this is nicely displaying here that is easy like it displayed here everything looks fine you can save it and it will save the url in the database that is fine and let's see how we can display tags it should work the same way if you know how to do it feel free to skip the video so also in the next video i will show you how you can delete these images sometimes you upload a, a wrong image there should be an x icon to, de to delete the image that you have here so let's do the tag one first if i come here here are the tags that we are going to add the tag and we will display them under the tag here paragraph or let's display them in a div actually paragraph should be fine why it is not auto completing so now it should work the same way and we are going to say we for tag in product the tag i am not sure if that is plural or singular it should be tags yes product dot tags and we can display them in a span tag here so all you have to do is just specify tag here this should be easy and that's it if i come here i will refresh the page and let's see if it works coming to the product we will add it and let's add some tags here test comma it will work and it will display it here more comma tags comma here comma yeah it works just fine and we have to do a little bit of styling you know how to give it a style first of all you can give it a class with padding of one which is a little of padding and for the parent you can give it a class of d flex this is bootstrap four classes so if you don't know how to do them you have to learn how to do oh it does not display them in the flex manner so if you check out the reason is because it is going to duplicate that data so every every uh, paragraph you you see here it is going to be a separate tag so what you can do is you can cut this one and you can open a div here so this is a little bit of a styling so i'm doing i should have to do this behind the scene and if you save it this time coming here it should work just fine i will refresh the page it does not did save any data yet so we are just testing them so coming to the application add the product and let's say test comma more comma tags comma whatever yeah it is going to display those tags here it does not remove the comma here so it should be fine for now yeah that's it like how you can upload multiple images if you can see i cannot select multiple image now because the multiple image option is disabled you can do that step by step that is like one of the issue if you select multiple one your function will not work because this function which trigger a, the file is going to take the first one and if you select multiple one it does not take the other one because we do not have the option that's true so if i select any file here from here if i do not select anything you cancel it you will get an error here here is the name property not defined that is because we when it is when you uh, select a file and you do not pick anyone you come by default it is going to expect you have a file and then it's going to say file.name which does not exist it's going to give you an error so to fix that issue you can put that in a condition every time you try to upload something first check if you have the file then you can do all these actions if i come all the way down yes i will move them up here yeah, in the if condition now it sh you should not get any error first it is going to check if you have the file then it is going to do all the actions so it should work just fine for now so i hope it has been informative for you thank you for watching and in the next video i will show you how you can delete images 
just a few more videos then we are done with the product page and then we will work on the order and some other stuff thank you